good morning. We are today uh, doing demonstration for the calcium carbide uh, for soil to check the moisture in soil. What we have here is the calcium carbide. Uh, it's a uh, molded the jar and a gauge. Uh, what we also have are uh, steel balls to uh, shake the uh, sample. And we have a small balance that uh, will take the reading uh, of how many grams you are putting for soil. So you check the soil how much you want to uh, test. So you can weigh uh, you can weigh up to a hundred uh, gram sample, and you have the calcium carbide are uh, set in ampules. Each ampule have exactly the right amount of calcium carbide that you need to use inside the uh, sample uh, for the test. The first step is to uh, take the gauge out and to put the steel balls inside the uh, gauge and uh, to place the steel balls. Uh, however, <coughs> it's better not to handle the steel balls with your own hand because your hand uh, will contain some moisture. It's best if you clean the steel balls properly and just drop them one by one inside the actual uh, jar. Uh, once this is uh, dropped inside the jar, uh, the next step is to uh, place the uh, soil sample which you have already prepared and weighed uh, inside the uh, jar. And then the last step is to tilt the jar and to place the calcium carbide which is uh, capsuled in a glass container inside the actual jar. And with this step you will need to close the jar uh, properly with both both arms, and then uh, all you have to do is to shake to shake the jar, and the jar uh, the the, bo the steel balls will then uh, break the glass capsules and will release the calcium carbide uh, embedded inside the capsule, which will react with the soil, uh, the moisture inside the soil, and will, will give you the reading of the percentage um, of uh, the percentage uh, moisture inside the soil. You also have a, a, a special graph that you will be able to, a chart that you'll be able to ref, uh, refer to in order to um, uh, take the reading and uh, these readings are then um, um, uh, explained how much, how much bars, according to how many bars the uh, uh, the uh, pressure gauge will give you, it will tell you how much per percentage of moisture is available in the soil. And that depends on the, di the different uh, portion of the uh, soil. So you can have 5, 10, 20, 50, and 100 gram soil. And uh, each one of these will give you different reading. And, and each one of them will uh, give you the percentage of uh, moisture in the soil.